Hello Capricorn, my name is Crystal. I am doing a reading for, or a general reading for you guys. So take whatever resonates for you and leave what doesn't for somebody else. Um, I am going to be doing a message from your universe, from the universe, from your ancestors, spirit guides, whoever else that has a message for you, past loved ones. I don't know, but they watch over us and, um... And sometimes they want to tell us some stuff, you know, make sure we're on the right path. Okay, so you have the Two of Cups, the Judgment, and the Four of Wands. I feel like there's an offer coming to you, but you're going to have to make a decision over this. Um, it could be a marriage proposal, it could be an engagement, it could be um, an offer of a job, offer of a new place, or whatever it is. It's like, you're going to have to make a choice between two things that you want, right? Because you have the Two of Cups here and then the Four of Wands over here. Unity, and this is about a, um, a love offer, right? But it could be an offer of anything. So I feel like you're going to have an, a choice to make between two things that you both kind of want. The Three of Pentacles, this can tell me, um, this is, yeah, mastership. This is about, like, you know, um, rebuilding, um, teamwork, helping the community. This is about soul, like, you know, having your, um, no, it's not about soul family. That's not right. Um, but I feel like you are leaving something or emotionally walking away from something, emotionally detaching, um, leaving something behind that's going to cause you to be very sad. Um, but the good thing is that you're walking away and you're going towards the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new start. It's a new career, a new job, a new, um, a brand new start for you. Okay. Um, let's see what it's about. What is this new start? Four of Wands. You got Four of Wands two times. Unity. Alright, so coming together. Alright, you're definitely having a new start. Maybe you're going to be married. Maybe you're moving with your partner somewhere else. Um, outcome. The King of Cups. Yeah, you guys are going to be much more happier there. Um, or much more happier with whatever choice that you're planning on making. Struggling with the page of pentacles struggling with trying something new learning more this is your challenge having a hard time like um listening to your intuition you're having a hard time making this decision three of wands patience the universe wants you to have some type of patience plus six of pentacles because it's going to balance out you may be feeling like things are unfair all right you might be feeling like you're not getting your half of what you should be getting or your part out of whatever it is that you're trying to be getting. But the universe wants you to have some type of patience, okay? Um, you do have a decadence card, which is a tower. This is about abruption. The tower is collapsing. The, you know, everything is, like, going all crazy and stuff. But the tower, everybody is scared of the tower, but I'm not scared of the tower. The tower is just change and needed change because sometimes we get so comfortable in life that we get stuck in our ways and stuck doing things which doesn't allow us to grow. And so the universe has to like throw some type of like, you know, obstacle in front of us in order to kind of like switch up our gears and to get us moving, get us realizing things and to just kind of, you know, do, get us push to where we really need to go. So I feel like the universe is trying to make you make this decision. All right, they want you to make this decision. I made some cards. Um, so we'll just see which ones come out. All right, so it says, let go of expectations. Allow things to just be. This is like, I got to, um, it's, neon yellow so some of them you can't see so let go of expectations if you had expectations going into things some, most of the time we're going to be let down because most of the time it's not going to be exactly the way that we want it right the universe wants you to just allow things to just happen and just try to kind of accept things for how they are because they are trying to let things they're trying to bring you something better use your creativity Time to reevaluate things. Get rid of what no longer serves you. Jeez. And then you have endings always bring new beginnings. Oh, God. Y'all can't see these. <laughs> so just know that even though if something's ending, you're moving away from somebody, moving away from something, an ending is not just 
that's it and we're done and nothing else comes. It's like the ending, something has to end in order for other things to begin. Alright, so you have to get rid of things, you know, like stuffing stuff in a box. You can only stuff so much. So if you want to put more stuff in the box, you got to take some stuff out, right? Same thing with like anything else in life. So just, it needs to make, you need to have more room for something new to come in. So we have to get rid of some stuff. You have innocence. Whoever is in question, the answer is clear. They are innocent. This is also an omen of future circumstances involving conflict. Some mistakes. There was a fly and I don't like bugs. So, <laughs> some mistakes are unintentional. Some harm or damage is done un unintentionally. An innocent person is involved. The pursuit of justice will help reveal the truth of the situation. All right, so you or somebody you know might be, you know, being told that they're doing something that they're not. I feel like that is going to come out. Um, you have hidden enemy and spirit guides. Karmic justice, too, on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whoever it is that is doing wrong is going to be exposed. And whoever is doing right is going to be found that they are the innocent one. Um, this could be court, this could be anything. I just pulled the reconciliation card, so maybe you guys are getting back together with somebody. You have hidden enemies. Somebody is trying to sabotage you. This person wants you to fail and will celebrate your losses. Be discerning. Do not volunteer information you want kept secret. There is someone who wants... I hate bugs. <laughs> there is someone who wants what you have and will try to take credit of your work as their own. Envy, insecurity, and gossip are present. Protect yourself. So there's definitely somebody against you right now. They need to keep your eyes out on, um, really focus on them because somebody is against you. Um, but protect yourself as well, spiritually protect yourself. Like, um, ask ancestors, angels and stuff like that to help protect you, ask what you need, um, to do. And then you have spirit guides. Your guides have heard you in your prayers. Look for specific signs, omens, messages, dreams from your guides. New guides are coming. Veteran guides are helping you grow and develop your ability to hear them. You are safe. You all, you have helped through your lessons, losses, and important milestones of your life path. So I feel like this is just letting you know that the ancestors are with you, even though you're going through some type of ending, some type of hard struggles, right? The universe has your back, and they have your best interest at heart, all right? So it's like, don't fight things. Just allow things to be. No expectations, and just, you know, try to roll with the flow. I know it's easier said than done. I know it's not easy to do that. Um... I have a hard time doing that, but you know what I mean? Um, that's what they're asking. So that's what I got for you guys. Sorry about the noise, but it's too hot for me to um, keep my windows shut when I die. Um, thanks for watching, and take care. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Page of Cups. New start, new love, new inspirations. Yep, new passions. Stuff like that's coming. All right, anyway. <laughs> Toodles.